Hi guys, Richard from Adventure Off-Road Training here. We've just picked up the new Fortuna and we're taking it for a bit of a test drive to see how it goes off-road and on-road and uh, just head along the road here to uh, Mundaring or through Mundaring up to the power line track to have a little play. So let's get to it. So with the new Fortuna it's got the global diesel engine common across the range from the uh, Hilux Prado and now the Fortuna. Fortuna is a new model to Australia so um, it's going to sit well in the marketplace. It's obviously competing against MUX, uh, Colorado 7 and Challenger so that's where it's placed in the marketplace. Um, it's very very high spec this one, this is the Crusade and um, yeah, it's got all the, the bells and whistles that you'd expect of the top of the line model but it goes well too and with the new 2.8 the six-speed auto box even has paddle shift, which is uh, excellent. So we'll, uh, we'll have a play with that a little bit later. So, <clears throat> nice and smooth. A little rush of air from outside, and that's about all you can hear. Uh, so cruising at uh, just uh, about 105 k's an hour. Um, very, very quiet as far as the engine noise goes. You can hear the engine a little bit lower in the range. Uh, so when you're pulling away at low, low revs, as soon as you get up on the open road, it is uh, really, really quiet. Okay, so here we are up on the power line track and uh, we're uh, going to get underway. We're going to have a little walk around first, the new uh, Fortuna, and we'll see what we have in store. So uh, basically from the outside it's all, all brand new. Uh, this model hasn't been available in Australia up until now. Uh, if you think back to the old Hilux Surf, this is basically a, a modern version of that. They're based around the Hilux platform but uh, a wagon ba base. Uh, so uh, again, a uh, nice little niche in the market for it to, uh, to come into. Okay guys, let's start with the engine. We've got the 1GD FTV engine. This is the global diesel engine, the 2.8 as the power plant. So it's very tidy, very neat. As this vehicle is based around the Hilux platform, a lot of the features that were incorporated into the Hilux from listening to people like mining companies and uh, Forestry Commission, farmers, stuff like that, are all able to be incorporated into this vehicle as well. So things like the accessory uh, fuse box and also things like uh, battery trays and extra batteries. So that's uh, a really nice feature and benefit to have for the end user to be able to connect everything up. The engine's obviously coupled up to the six-speed transmission. Uh, that works very, very well. Both designed at the same time, designed to work with each other, which is really quite important when we look at uh, vehicles and uh, transmission compatibility so the the power matching and all the rest of it works very very nicely as you'll see in the footage uh, as we drive down the road okay so although it shares a common platform with the Hilux the exterior styling is completely different it's very very sharp very very nice um, it's got the bi LED headlights and yeah very very modern looking vehicle okay so well, a nice 18 inch alloy wheels here. Uh, one of the features I really do like is the nice large doors to get climbing in and out of. Okay, so uh, very often you get a very short door. It's difficult to get in and out for your passengers, certainly if you've got big passengers. Um, keyless entry, so that's uh, nice. Top of the line again. Um, so just press the button, keys in your, uh, key fobs in your pocket, door opens even if it's uh, locked. So very nice, and obviously the uh, factory running boards there. Okay, so a few nice little features here. Obviously, factory reversing camera just there, <coughs> reversing sensors here and here, and this is my uh, favourite little bit. How cool is that? Plenty of space for the camera gear as well. Okay, so just started it to show a few of the features and functions. Obviously you've got your climate control down here, you've got your satellite navigation system there. All your four-wheel drive functions and features here, so high-range two-wheel drive, high-range four-wheel drive and a low range, along with your factory rear diff lock and your traction control and stability program button here, as well as downhill assist control. So <clears throat> the satellite navigation system, you can do hands-free answering once you've synced your phone to it. Uh, if you use the proprietary uh, Toyota Link system on your phone as an app, okay, you can get real-time data uh, downloaded to the, uh, the the head unit there. So again, that's a nice little function of feature here. Your screen on your in front of you on your LCD is all controlled here through the other side of the steering wheel and 
you've got your power mode and your eco mode here on for the transmission and your typical auto box that goes down into the drive and then across to the sports mode okay interior features uh, leather interior on this uh, crusade one of the really nice features carried across from the Hilux is the cooler box here and uh, Chris and I have got our sandwiches in there so they're keeping nice and cool for the, uh, the rest of the trip until lunchtime. And for the shorter driver, we can elevate the seat position. And again, that's a, again, that's a nice feature there. So more than enough leg room for a tall person like me, even with the front seat fully reclined. So very, very nice and comfortable for your passengers. So plenty of space in the boot here. Okay. And still room to get the seat down and move that across. Put the third row seat up there nice and easy to do okay so pull that up and uh, that's about it from the interior let's uh, go and have a drive and see uh, how it goes off-road okay so the new Fortuna uh, independent front suspension uh, live rear axle coil sprung suspension at the back it gives you the best of uh, on-road comfort and drivability and off-road ability okay so with the rear coil sprung axle it's got lots of articulation the ground clearance on this is also great in fact i believe it is more than the prado so uh, good ground clearance from standard suspension's really good off-road uh, and on roads nice and firm feel all in all great vehicle to drive both on and off-road okay so when faced with a long slope in front of us going downhill we can use downhill assist control by punching that button You'll notice that the light comes on your dash, you'll see a little uh, vehicle on an angle. As we let go of the brake, the vehicle's going to pick up a little bit of speed and then the braking system will just control that speed all the way down the hill. When we get to a really difficult section, it's steeper in, in angle, what we can do is use the rear diff lock. By pressing that, that's going to lock the rear axle to, together, so both wheels are locked together. And the reason for this is as we enter down into some steep moguls, we tend to lose traction on one front and one rear wheel and the vehicle can actually pick up speed. So by locking the rear axle together, we keep that engine braking to the rear wheels and that just controls the vehicle's descent. So let's get that into gear, use downhill assist and off we go. We've had a great fun out here in the uh, bush today, driving the new Fortuna. Uh, very nice to drive, uh, really capable off-road, as you'll see from some of the footage. We haven't gone light on it. Um, what can we say? Awesome, awesome vehicle. I think everyone in the marketplace is going to be interested to drive these, and I think it's going to feel like a quite a nice niche in the marketplace. I'm Richard from Adventure Off-Road Training. Remember, when you're out there, have fun, gain confidence, drive safely, and tread lightly. Mm -hmm.